and this is my O2 cool now the final step extending projector lines upwards from this figure and sidewards from here first I will extend O O will be extended up till here and E and D are here so I will just extend E and D this point is E and this point is D I will mark them out 1 2 3 this is E2 dash D2 dash and this is O2 dash the next uh, that I need to extend is I will extend F and C then F and C this is F2 C2 uh, these are all dashes F2 dash and C2 dash now finally A and B these are the two points this is A and this is B A2 dash that is B2 dash and this is ok now I'll just connect them this is the base hexagon that we have the base hexagon and this is O2 so these are all 1 this D2 2 and this 3 these are the visible lines and uh, E2O will also be a visible line which will be covered on the figure itself and the dot the two invisible lines will be these and finally this So this is the final solution of the figure that we have uh, that is required for us to uh, answer the question number one for today. Let's move on to the next question. A square pyramid size of base 50 mm and height uh, 64 uh, sorry of height 64 mm is freely suspended from uh, is really suspended from one of the corners of the base draw its projection when vertical plane containing axis makes an angle of 45 degrees with VP so basically what is it saying is that uh, a square pyramid is there uh, now you know a pyramid has a point at the top and the there is a base at the bottom and if it is a square pyramid the base will be a square a square pyramid side of base is 50 mm the side of the base means the square which is there is uh, each has a side of 50 mm and the height of the pyramid is 64 mm so uh, I have this pyramid now it is freely suspended on one of its corners uh, on HP it is not touching HP it is freely suspended so it says that uh, one of uh, it is freely suspended on one of the corners of the base uh, on one of the corners of the base I now have to draw the projection when the vertical plane containing the axis is making an angle of 45 degrees with respect to VP that means the vertical uh, line that I have that is par uh, parallel to VP uh, then again makes an angle of 45 degrees with VP at that particular point of time I have to draw the projections so let's begin with drawing what drawing the line XY first of all drawing line XY
Okay, here I I have a line x y. centralized now I've drawn my line XY the next thing uh, that I will draw is first I'll draw my yeah my base might be uh, this square the base square which will be in the top view I'll draw that first again I will draw it uh, freely so that uh, and whenever you are making you should make it perfectly now the base uh, at side base is 50 mm so what I'm going to do is uh, the base side is 50 mm that means 5 cm so if I'm taking 5 cm it will be this much big size of square so instead of uh, making it this much big what I'll do is I'll take scale of 1 is to 2 that means uh, 550 mm on paper will become 25 mm uh, so 50 mm the question will become 25 mm on my paper so the scale for this question is 1 is to 2 that is exactly so the uh, whatever square I'm going to uh, make will be of uh, 2.5 mm side instead of 5 mm so this time we'll make it a bit nice colorful so I'm making a square of side 2.5 mm it will look like a square so kindly assume it to be a square done each side is how much uh, is 25 mm because I have taken a scale of 1 east to 2 this is 25 mm so now let me mark them and if, of course uh, this is a pyramid so the central line will also come which I will denote with uh, something of red so that it looks clearly different these are the edges which are visible and this is the top point which is there uh, these are the four points that I have this is the center now there will be this is A this is B this is C and this is D and this I'll take it as O and G now why two points because one O will be the top and G will be the bottom part of the center of the square and O will be the top tip so I have uh, six points which are there uh, on the top view which I am able to see uh, now uh, I'll draw my projectors upwards from these points this goes in this way then this upwards and again this goes upwards and uh, of course the point is not on the base so I'll have to extend this line up up and up so now 64 mm height is given to us now if I divide 64 by 2 then it is 3 uh, 3.32 again so the height that I need to measure is 32 mm which I'll do it in this manner 32 put my center here and cut an arc in this way oh so, uh, there is one thing that it is not lying on the base so I cannot take it from any uh, point so uh, what I'll do is I'll take this point and then from here I'll take 32 mm and cut this arc so my, this line will be my base this line will be my base and on this base when I see my projectors which are this and this so I have these points I have these points which are there one two three and this is the center I'll just connect them all feel it is a little bit tilted so I'll make it correct
this way okay and now, now let's name them this is a dash this is b dash and uh, d dash and also g dash this is c dash and finally this is o dash and actually this line will also be a visible line sure now well uh, it, it is its base this point is freely suspended somewhere here so, and it is making any angle ra random angle which angle is not given so first of all that is the first condition given so what i'll do is i will just say take this reference line and i will draw this straight line and if you uh, yeah and take this point and this point i'll take it as c1 dash which is this point and now i will measure c this co co and i will cut this line here so i have received this point which is my point o1 dash similar in the similar way i need to keep this triangle here so i will measure this ac the angle first i'll measure similar to the last process this angle is there it makes an angle of say 65 degrees from here so i will mark 65 degrees this con extended the line then a to c is measured and keeping on c i'll cut the arc and a to d has to be measured so a to d and then also again cut an arc then i will mark the points and join this also this line so marking the points now these are three b1 dash d1 dash and g1 dash this is a1 dash now extending the projectors downwards and sidewards so b is here a and c will be here and here d will be here and the center will be extended up till this so this becomes o joining the points and of course we'll have one dotted line which is this one which will be exactly covered behind this so now i'll quickly name them this is o1 this center would be g1 this will be b1 this will be c1 this will be a1 and this will be d1 okay. 
now what uh, needs to be done is that this co which is actually on, uh, right now parallel to vp will have will be making an angle of 45 degrees with respect to vp which is asked in the question so i'll draw a oh sorry 45 degree angle first Forty-five degrees is this. Okay, from that point, I'm sorry. This point I've taken. From that, I've marked forty-five degrees here, and using this only, I'll mark a straight line, on which I'll do all the things that are needful. Again, I'll take a point. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll be drawing it a little bit away from this, so that it does not create any problems. Now on that I will mark my point O first of all. I'll take this as my point O2. And from O2 I will mark these distances which are there on the line OA. This is OA and OC. So this is OC and from there these both are at similar distances this is it and from here also these are at similar distances so I will cut an arc here and I'll cut an arc here now keeping it here I will cut an arc this way and cut an arc this way so I have four points, so I will join them.